Hello, welcome to the Tutors of Life podcast where we research life so you don't have to. Episode 337, this is your host Sean Tudor. And this is Sam. And this is a tutor episode where we try to teach you something new. Sweet. So It's another day, another Sunday. Another Sunday. <clears throat> you know what I think my biggest fear is? What's up? Could you imagine not having enough food? Mm-mm. Think about that, dude. Mm-hmm. Do you imagine having to ration food? No. Poof. Or like having to kill someone for food? Having to kill somebody for food? Like, and eat them? No, 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 no. Like, kill your neighbors that you don't like? I don't know if I'd mind that. <clears throat> um, You get a reward at the end, you know what I'm saying? What? Eat? The Eating. food? No. Oh. <sighs> um, no, nah, I mean, I think my big thing is like, <sighs> I like eating and I like being f- like fairly jacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And uh, boy, I couldn't imagine if I had to go from being fairly jacked to being like nothing. That would fuck me up yeah i think so many other things would be going on though that you probably wouldn't notice oh yeah um i would notice because i wouldn't have the strength i guess yeah like you wouldn't be as like on your shit Mm -hmm. because you're not getting fully fed yeah what about like uh, i know i don't know like what i was gonna say like farmers like farmers just seem so strong but they don't look big they're eating a lot. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I think food's your number one, like, thing. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. your fuel. Yeah, it's true. So anyways, I just thought about that today. That's your number one fear now? Yeah, I think so. Not having enough food, dude. That's impressive. Yeah, it's not like an actual fear. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just something like, if all things went wrong, that's a big problem. Mm-hmm you know yeah i think it's just something i never thought about before but it seems more and more realistic as time goes on yep Mm -hmm. dude i mean you become a third world country you go get under communism you know you got the bread lines and shit dude it ain't you're not going to the fucking coffee shop and getting a coffee and a sandwich Mm -hmm. You're standing in line hoping to get a slice of fucking bread. Right. Or like Holocaust times. Yeah, dude. They already discussed putting, you know, people like us in camps because we wouldn't take a take a thing. Right. And the fucking what they uh in the, in the Holocaust you got 250 to 400 calories a day. Mm-hmm. 250 to 400 calories a day. If you did not learn how to sneak food in or like get food in, you died mm. out of pure starvation. Yeah, or if you didn't, um, like, prove yourself to be useful. So, like, so many people, like, right. fought their way to die. Right. Um, if you guys ever want, if you're ever interested in the Holocaust, definitely read um, The Happiest Man on Earth and also Silka's Journey. And Tattooist of Auschwitz. And Tattooist of Auschwitz. Um, cause all of them, they did what they needed to, to survive. Right. Uh, it was Silka's. Yeah. Silka was after the Holocaust though, but it showed what her choices to survive yeah. at Auschwitz caused her afterwards. Right. Um, it's really good though, but yeah, I mean... Like, they became, um, they, like, they didn't side with the S, like, the S, or the Nazis, but they, um, helped them or whatever, like, became admins or the tattooist. Silka became, uh, um, she was one of the, like, hut warden people. Right. Um, hers is actually really sad. She looked over the cabin that they sent people to right before uh, 
they like were going to go die. Mm. So they would stay there if they were like sick or um, if they were getting too old and weak. Yeah. Uh, and she, so they would be there for like a day or two and then she'd send them off into the truck and they would go to the gas t- chambers. Um, and she actually had to send off her mom. Mm. Mm. That's tough. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I mean, in times like that, right, you have to befriend the enemy to survive. Right. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Mm-hmm. It's what you got to do. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, so that's not what this podcast is about. No, but it's still cool because I thought of it just because I just ate. Um, it's 6.45. I just ate. And I'm probably going to eat again uh, in an hour. And I was like, man, I love food. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. So moving on. What we're here to talk about. Yeah. A quick one today because I've got shit to do. Same. Um. And Mimi's got naps to take. Oh, this this pretty girl. So, when you have a lot to do, it's easy to get stressed. Mm -hmm. So, the best thing you can do is write it all down. Yeah. Get it out of your brain. Okay, now you got it written all down. Now, if you put it in like an Excel document or something where you can move it around... Or just assign dates to it, right? Mm -hmm. And look through that whole list of things you just wrote down and figure it out by like deadline. When does this shit have to get done? Mm -hmm. Put the date by what has to get done and just start doing it. Choose. Sorry. Choose as many tasks you have time in the day to do and just get those tasks done. Mm Mm-hmm big thing is is like if shit's causing you stress get as many of the things done as you can as fast as you can so then you can focus on other things that like if you if it's for business other things that your business needs work on driving more revenue your marketing maybe it's your operations whatever your back end shit um or uh, if it's like your personal life, things that, you know, projects, personal development, fucking doing shit around the house, you know, whatever it is, right? Mm-hmm. But the the thing is, you got to get the shit on paper. You have to look at it. You have to see like, goddamn, this is too much shit to do. Then you have to break it down into bite-sized pieces. So like, look at it and, and assign dates. Like, when does this shit need to be done by? And then you got to assign them to days and, and attack the list to as many as you can. Mm-hmm. And the whole like point of doing this is to try to make yourself less stressed. Because as soon as you're overwhelmed and stressed, you're going to just check out and be like, this is it's just too much. I just can't. I got too much shit to do. I can't. I, I don't have time. I, I can't do it. Whatever. And then you just start doing other things that are not anything what you need to do. Right. You do things to stay busy to try to take your mind off it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, literally just just it's 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 that fucking simple, dude. And people don't do it. And I know people don't do it because I didn't do it, you know, or I don't do it all the time. But like. As soon as you're stressed, as soon as you got too much going on, write everything down on a list or type it in an Excel doc or put it on a CRM, assign it dates. If you can, assign it to people, Mm -hmm. delegate it, take it off your to-do list and put it on someone else's to-do list. Go through, get through the list as fast as you can. If As soon as you get through the list... Then you can really start focusing on shit that drives the business forward. You, the thing is, is like there's things. So there's like working on the business and there's working in the business, right? Mm. And so working on the business is things that are going to help progress your business and make it better, better systems, better processes, better marketing, better like brand recognition, things like that, right? And so the better you can build it, right? The more time you have to build it, the better you can build it. Well, there's working in the business. And these things are crucial to keep the business running so that you have the privilege of working on the business. Mm -hmm. 
And so you still have to get your things done. Like you can't just go, well, I need to work on this for the business and then don't fulfill the product or service. Like right. Then you won't have a business. You can't be like, well, I got to get this done. And then you don't do any marketing. So you don't have any sales. So you don't have any business. So it doesn't matter that you got it done anyways. Um, so you need to continue getting your daily shit done and try to catch up on that as like fast as you can. And so when once you catch up and then it's just a reasonable amount every day, that's when you can really start to do the working on the business. Mm-hmm. So catch up with that daily shit, knock out some long days, then bring it back to like bite-sized daily amounts for your your working in the business and then start putting in more time working on the business and then building up the business or I mean this this is the same thing for life you know what I'm saying it's the same thing for life you have to keep your house clean you got to get the lawn mowed you know you got to eat food Mm -hmm. and shit like that well there's a lot of that you might if you have the income capabilities you might be able to delegate a lot you could delegate some cleaning you could delegate lawn mowing you delegate meal prep if you want you know um but so the the kind of faster you can get through that shit the more you can develop and focus on the bigger picture Mm -hmm. and one thing like here's just like an example that i think is just like easy to think about like if your house is just like a mess and you're just so overwhelmed by it you don't know where to start just start with like one room or like one task um i see lots of like moms post about this like they do a specific thing like every single day so like mondays is always sweeping tuesdays is always cleaning the bathroom um wednesday is always like wiping windows and mirrors or whatever and it's just like breaking it down to little things like that so instead like you're not on sundays being like my house is disaster and you spend five hours cleaning your house or you could break it down to 30 45 minute chunks every single day yep like it by breaking it down into smaller things like that it just one immediately makes you feel less stressed because you're like i can sweep the whole house today yeah that's easy enough kids can keep running around doing whatever i can still sweep the house yep um or you can have your kids help you if they're old enough uh and so yeah just breaking them down into those smaller chunks it just feels so much more manageable and then you can keep up with it and then Let's say on Sunday, now that you don't clean for five hours, you can start doing those extra things. Yes. So you can start like, um, one thing Sean and I actually discussed that we've never done in any house that we're going to start doing um, is cleaning out like the windows. Mm -hmm. Um, So like when you open the glass and there's that piece, like cleaning them out probably in the fall and the spring, just because they do get pretty nasty throughout Mm -hmm. the summer. Uh, But then you can add stuff like that. Uh, I actually just wrote a blog on this too, about planning out all your tasks for the week, even. Like, I know, like, Sean and I, like, our stuff changes quite a bit, but I think, like, even, like, today, I, like, try to plan out all, like, the stuff I need to do on the computer, because I one, I'm working on one big task right now, which is organizing our garage. Um, the work garage but like all my computer tasks like receipts payroll whatever and so I wrote them all down because if I have any extra time I'm going to start working on those tasks for the next day so then hopefully by Thursday Friday I don't have any more of my computer tasks done besides like working 30 minutes on this system So then I can either start catching up on some stuff that I've wanted to do that I just haven't had time, or I can spend more time on my big project, which is organizing the garage. Right. So planning all your tasks out just really helps you. One, I mean, once again, keeps you less stressed because it's already written down. And so when you start the day, you don't have to think about, okay, what did I need to do today? It's already done. And two... I think it helps push you to do more throughout the day and use your time more wisely. Yeah, I like it. It's, it does. Um, another thing you can do is 
you know, if you write this down, you're like, well, where am I going to get the time? Mm-hmm. Go onto your phone and go into your settings and look up your screen time, your digital well-being, and it can give you an idea of where you can find that time. Yep. I was watching a dude. I sent it to you. Uh-huh. And I sent it to a bunch of friends. Um, <clears throat> it was a guy who said, um, I averaged my screen time out throughout the week, and I'm going to run for that long and see how far or it I can was like it. his total screen time for the week. No, it wasn't. I it thought was it was. daily. Oh, was it daily? Yeah, he took the average screen time. Oh, shit. I thought that was his total screen no, time no, for the no, week. No, 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 He took his average daily screen time through the week and then ran for that long. Six hours and some odd minutes. Yeah, 30, 30 minutes. I so think. that dude's having six hours of screen time a day. That's wild. But I mean, I don't even... I don't know what mine is exactly. I'll pull it up. It's going to be terrible. I'm going to feel like trash looking at this. Um, I know mine's so hard because I have like, uh, I just put like streamers on in the background. All right. So two hours, 34 minutes, but 35 minutes is Spotify. Yeah. So two hours. That's for today. Yep. Two hours is like social media and shit. Okay. So during a regular week, it's you know day, it's more. Mm-hmm. Um, audio is thirty five. Yeah. So social. Okay. So I had productivity and finance. That was me like checking shit. So hour forty five minutes on social. Yeah. And so like, I didn't need to spend an hour and forty five minutes on social media. No. I could have gotten more tasks done. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. That's all I got, dude. It's literally that simple. It really is. You Like this isn't, we don't need to go crazy in this topic. We all got too much shit. We live in a fast paced environment. We all got a lot of shit going on. We think our shit fucking, if we don't do it, the world's going to end. And that's not true. Probably most of the shit you got, you probably don't even need to do. But if you run a business, you got shit like that going on. You want to keep a good name, reputation, whatever. You got your to-do list. Make that list and just start fucking make the list, figure out what's priority and start attacking those priorities. Clear the fucking list, then start working on the business Mm -hmm. while keep in mind, you have to still work in the business to keep it moving forward. It's just part of how life goes. Eventually, you can maybe get to a point where you don't need to do that. But most people listening to this probably aren't there. Yeah. Assign dates. Don't forget that. I thought I said that. You, I don't think you did that. So oh. Th- when you're refreshing. Oh, yeah. Assign dates. Figure out what needs to be done. Assign the date to it and complete it by that date. Yeah. That's all I got. Cool. Love it. We'll all catch right, you gang. on Friday. Fucking get some shit done this week. See ya. Peace.